This is a guy that in your career history, he, he could say a lot of nasty things about you on the mic, one Phil LaFon. He, he trashed you a couple times after some in matches. I don't know. In this clip, I see Doug Furness has the mic, but okay. I think of the uh, my, one of my favorite shows of all time, the, uh, the Halloween show, where Chris and Shane dress up as uh, Skip and, and the Dean. At the end of the match, or maybe at the beginning, Phil LaFon gets on the mic. He calls you a tramp. He calls you a skank. He calls you like a million things. But didn't everybody? <laughs> but <laughs> it's like so special. you didn't see him talking very much. That's why right. I think it's kind of funny. So Yes. No, I said, look, I said, listen, do what you want. And I will react to it. And then we were friends in the back. And it was great. You know, I don't yeah. care. I told it's him. I used to, and the same, like I used to tell Joey Styles all the time. I don't care what you say. I know you love me. And he goes, that I do. And I said, well, <laughs> you're good to go. I don't care. It's heat. Do it. Get your heat. And you two had a great uh, little report. Oh, we there, did so. have great banter, Joey yes, and you I. you did. Oh, my goodness. Yes, you did. I, I love when you made him feel uncomfortable. You'd be like, I always made him feel uncomfortable. Be like, <laughs> you'd be doing that. I love that. I mean, these two guys, I mean, I wish that they had stayed in ECW. because Oh, they were so great. Oh, they, they were, were so great together. They were awesome. Did they go to I, WWF right yeah. after this? Yeah. Yes. They left the same time Scorpio left. Oh, yeah. And they were there for, you know, maybe about a year and a half. Never used right. Basically became, you know, undercard job oh, team. They would have been stars with us for sure. Oh, would have been the next 100%. coming of the Eliminators. Yeah, exactly. These two could have had a good program together, I feel. Oh, absolutely. You know, Shane had, had a great relationship with Doug Furness because mm -hmm. uh, there, Doug Furness came up through um, UWF, like how Shane did. Just huge amount of respect for him. So I can only think he'd had the same thing for LaFon. Yeah. Yeah, they were nice guys. I, I, I liked them. I liked working with them. I'm pretty sure I took bumps from them, but I can't remember what they gave me. I'm trying to think. Oh, is it, it? Okay. Hold that thought. <laughs> okay. I know I did something with we're getting, them. I, we're getting there. Yeah. I can't remember what it was. You know, Stevie was always there when I was training. And I remember doing a spot where they wanted me to kick him in the back. But they never taught me how. So I literally, he was running the ropes and he runs towards me. I literally just kick him as hard as I can in the back. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah. And he was, and he fell like he, he crumbled and they're like, no, 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 you do it this way. And I was like, well, no one ever told me how to do it. Like, you know, you learn by uh, doing. Hands on learning. That's how you need it. Maybe that was the receipt I got when he kicked me in the face <laughs> right before the frigging match. I was loopy. <laughs> oh my God. That was sometimes, terrible. You, sometimes you folk have uh, the, the, the uh, memory of an elephant. You don't forget. Ugh. I don't know. Now, let me ask you this. So now, the referee's close, right? Looking like he's checking the uh, the submission hold. But it kind of seemed like he said something to Shane. Is that a normal cue? Is is a referee going to say something to a guy when he's in a ref hold like that? Um, He could have been warning. Um, He could have been warning because uh, he was near the ropes. It looked like the way he said it because they then went to the spot where they switched. So I didn't know if he said something to him because he like leaned in a little bit more than he normally would have. Uh, I don't know. Am I thinking too much into it? Yeah, probably. All right. They, that's why I asked the pros. Man. Sometimes he could have gave him the Iggy for something. I don't know. I know that spot right there. I had his hand on the ropes. Right. So he could have been telling Phil, like, get him, get him off the ropes. And then you count the four to break the hold because that's what you usually do when they're on the ropes. Uh, but I grabbed Shane's hand and just automatically put it on the ropes to break it. Right. Because I'm smart. You are. But hey, mm -hmm. this is how you learn. You ask the questions so you Absolutely. learn for people I listening. I'll teach you, kid. Why? You want to make right. your debut as a manager? You no, wanna... I just, uh, I, I, every time we get together, I feel like I learned something. <laughs> yeah. Don't, uh, don't let uh, Doug Furnace's, you know, like nice tucked in uh T-shirt, <laughs> golf yeah. shirt. Yeah, don't let that like fool you. And the fact that he's not like one of the best built guys in the oh, history. I know, of the right? Business. He takes that shirt off. He's all tan and ripped. 
It's like, good lord. Uh, yeah, tan like another color. And, uh, yeah, he just got in from Sandro Pay. And massive. Right. His pecs were huge. I'll never forget that about him. He had huge pecs. 